Do you have a service that you want to turn into an online course? If so, keep watching to find out why that is an advantage over other aspiring course creators. Hey family, I'm Janelle Allen, learning and marketing strategist for course creators. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to click the little bell icon next to it so that you don't miss out on any new videos that I drop. Okay, let's talk about something I feel very strongly about, which is why every course creator should start with a service. Now, like I said, I feel very strongly about this. Everyone may not agree, but I've had this conversation with several people. I've talked about it on my podcast and it comes from a place of working with many people over and over again to create their course. And what I've seen is people who have sold services and are, are then converting their service or, or taking parts of their service and turning it into a course by and large, tend to do better than people who don't, people who want to start with a course. Now, as many of you know, I have a group program called Finish Your Damn Course, where I help people to create and launch their online course. And I have had many people reach out and tell me that they have bought other people's programs on how to create a course. And they create that course and they're excited for a while until they go to sell it and they realize that they don't have any customers, right? They have this pretty course and maybe someone taught them a few things like how to not get refunds and this, that, and the other, but they end up with a course that launches to crickets. The reason is because they don't have an audience or they've never sold anything online. If you've never sold anything online, you don't want to start with a course, in my opinion. You want to start with a service. And there are several reasons why. So service-based business owners have an advantage when it comes to creating a course for many, many reasons. Number one, you have a business, right? So you people are paying you money to solve a problem. You also understand the needs of your target customer because you have a business. You're interacting with people. You're having conversations with your clients. So you know what's keeping them up at night. You know what are the things that they value. You know what results they want. You also know how to solve their problems, which is number three. And you have a process in place which you use to solve their problems. In other words, you have a product that process that you can productize and turn into a course. And you also know how to sell. So this is so much of building an online business and selling an online course. You have to understand how to market and sell. And so if you are selling services, particularly if those services are doing well, you know how to sell. And that's a big advantage. And last but not least, you know your segments. What do I mean by your segments? Well, you are going to have some people in your audience who want to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, who have the budget to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, who, you know, they, they meet all the criteria. And then you're going to have some people who don't. And a lot of times, my clients end up creating their course for the people who don't necessarily have the budget or fit certain criteria, but would actually be a great fit for a group program or a self-paced course. So working with clients is a way to identify those segments and say, okay, the people who fit this, these criteria are a good fit for my one-on-one -on -one work. And people who don't have those things, but have these things are a good fit for a course. So those are some key advantages that you have by just being a service-based business owner. Now let's talk about some, some overall things that selling a service gives you. It's going to help you, selling a service helps you validate that there is a need, right? Because we talked about, if you've been following my videos, you know that true validation is when someone pays you money for your course. So when you sell a service, they're not paying you for a course, but they're paying to solve a problem. And maybe that's the same problem your course is going to solve. So you have in essence validated that people will pay money to solve this problem. 
Selling a service also helps you to develop your proven process. We talked about productizing your process. Well, when you offer a service, in order to get more efficient at that service, you need to develop a process and you need to document that process. And ultimately that helps you when it comes time to turn that process into your course. Selling a service also helps you to identify objections, things that keep people from buying from you. Why is this important? Because you need to address those in your marketing. So doing that through the process of working with clients means that when you launch your course, you're going to you're going to already have copy in your head that you can get down on paper. And ultimately we've also talked about selling a service helping you to define your segments. Now, there's a few other things that selling a service does. Key thing is selling a service is going to help you learn what is valuable to your audience and what is not, right? Because people are gonna come with needs. They're gonna come and say, this is what I really want. You're gonna see what are the things that they, they can't stop talking about, they can't stop asking for. And then there's gonna be some things that you, you might include in your service and people don't really care about that. So it just really helps you to identify what's valuable to your audience. Okay, so next let's talk about the process of marketing and launching a service versus marketing and launching a course. So full disclosure, the processes are processes are very similar. Marketing and launching a service, which you can market and you can launch services, by the way, in case you, you didn't know that, you can launch services, is very similar to marketing and launching a course. There's key steps that you're gonna do. One, you're gonna build awareness, right? People need to know about you. They need to know what you offer. They need to understand, you need to take them across the five levels of awareness of the problem. They need to know that it is a problem and why is it a problem and what are the solutions to the problem and what are what's your what is your product and how does it address the problem? And is it a good fit for me? They need to know all of that. And that's all part of building awareness. The other part of marketing is education, right? educating people, delivering value to help them get some quick wins, to help them solve some problems. And you're gonna do that whether you're selling, marketing, launching a service or whether you're marketing a course. You're also going to entertain, right? So much of marketing and selling isn't just about giving people information. It isn't just about education. It is about helping people to get to know you, to get to like you, sharing, being vulnerable, sharing some things that are quirky and, and funny and, and just so people start to feel an affinity towards you. And, and you do that whether you're marketing a service or you're marketing a course. You're also gonna agitate the problem or the pain. What is, how is this problem causing pain in your audience's life? What happens if they don't address the problem? Agitating those things is something that really great marketers do and know to do as part of their marketing, whether marketing a service or marketing a course. And last but not least, regardless of what you market, you are going to pitch, right? There's a certain point where you need to ask for the sale, whether you're asking for them to buy your service or asking for them to buy your course. So. The big takeaway here is marketing and selling a service is very similar to marketing and selling a course. Now, if you're selling a course, of course, there's additional components, you know, that you have to set up sales pages and all of that. But in this day and age, you can have sales pages and people can buy your services online, very similar to how they buy your, your courses online. So I want you to understand the benefits of learning to market launch and sell services and how that translates to doing the same for a course. It gives you a leg up on people who haven't had that experience. Okay, so there's a few last things that I wanna talk about, advantages to selling a service. Selling a service helps you, this is a big one, right? Helps you to generate revenue. You have money, which is really important because it means that you're not desperate. 
There are so many times where I've talked with people who, you know, they are scrambling to create a course because they think it's going to save their business or they think that it's going to give them six figures so they can retire on the beach and they don't have anything else. They're grasping at straws. Well, I hate to break it to you, but it doesn't always work out like that. So selling a service and having a service-based business gives you an advantage because you're not in that position. You have revenue coming in and you have money that you allows you to, to take time and launch your service, your course the right way. Also, when you are marketing and selling your service, you're going to get testimonials. You're going to understand what the frequently asked questions are. And that is all data for your marketing. When you launch a course, you will have testimonials that you can use, right? So hopefully when you're selling your services, at the end of the fulfillment of the service, you say, hey, great client, do you have about 15 minutes for us to you know, have a project debrief where we can talk about your experience working together? And ideally they say, yes, you record that and you get them talking about their results. You get them talking about where they were when they hired you and the frustrations they had, and you turn that into a case study. And you can pull some great testimonials from that. So those testimonials you can repurpose and use on your sales page when you launch your course. Okay. So these are some, just some great advantages to selling a service and how it helps you later on down the line to sell a course. Now, one thing I want to say before we wrap up is that the additional revenue that you generate you know, from launching a course, especially if you already have a service, now you have two streams of revenue. And now you have money that helps you to scale up your business and get some of your time back and achieve that dream that we all have of, you know, trading less time for our dollars. So most importantly, a service is going to help you determine if you truly, truly want to serve this audience. And I mean that 100%. There's so many times that we have ideas for courses and, you know, when it comes down to it, maybe we don't fully commit or we get into it and we realize, I don't really like doing this. Well, doing a service allows you, offering a service allows you to get you know, test the waters a little bit and get your feet wet and see if you like, do you like working with this particular set of customers? Do you like this audience? Do you, can you actually help them? And that is something that I think not enough people talk about, but it's super important before you invest months into creating and marketing and launching an online course. All right, family. So in today's video, you learned why starting with a service is a key advantage to creating a course. So give me some love down in the comments and let me know, is this the route you've taken? Did you start with a service before you created your course or are you creating a course from scratch and you, and you don't have an audience and you haven't sold anything online? Let me know which route, which path you are taking. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to find out about new videos. And if you want to learn more about creating courses or my group program, Finish Your Damn Course, be sure to hop on my newsletter where you can get information about those things. Okay, I will see you next time. Peace.